was a unisex book bag. Uh, they were nice boots. <laughs> That's right, but it was a unisex book bag. <laughs> we're not trying to start any gender wars here. Hello everyone out there. My name is Brandon. My name is Keith. Welcome back to Chit Chat with the Riff Raff. Is that what we're calling this? I don't think that's what the name of the show is. All right. I don't well, even know if we decided on the name of the show. I don't think we have. Maybe if it comes up, but I don't think it'll be chit chat with the riff raff. We could bring that rap around here and oh, just please no. Stuff with him. We'd we have to make up some words and get some grills in, dye our hair pink, and put it into cornrows. And be fly. He is fly. Well, last speaking time, of flies, <laughs> last time Keith we discussed children. We did. Where do they come from? What do they do? What are they here for? If you have children asking about where babies come from and you'd rather not explain them yourself, uh, you can send them to our last video where we don't explain that. Now people who haven't watched it, they're going to sit there and think that we actually had a really weird video or if they show it to the kid, the kid's just going to be more confused and he's going to be like, well, they just That's true. talked about VBS. How did yeah, that... They're going to come out of that video Number with more 20. questions than answers. So, but another topic that has raised... Uh, tensions between Keith and I is the idea of dumpster diving. Dumpster diving is something that I started doing this past semester at school because people threw away a lot of great stuff. And so I got a, like a $60 book bag. I got a, uh, like a thing you put in your bathroom and you put towels on. Uh, my girlfriend got like a $50, uh, like, <laughs> makeup box thing that I just hasn't like, been used i like that if you if you like if their their tv cut out right right before you said dumpster diving is something that i started doing and then it came back in right after you would think like oh he went he went shopping at this place for some <laughs> they went to a yard sale and so uh so i got that and we got like <clears throat> a couple of other stuff out of there okay. and it was it was really cool and uh once i informed keith of how i had gotten these materials you were not not too thrilled with it. That's correct. And before we continue, after after revealing that this is a thing that you have done, uh -huh. where would you say that our, our viewing base, our, our, our watchers are, um, are, do you think they're more in my camp, more in your camp at this point? I think that they're in my camp because they're like, those are some good deals. Okay. They're headed to the, they <laughs> paused this and headed to the local dumpster. They're probably watching, they're already on the way. They're probably watching yeah. it on their way to the dump. They saw the title. But, yeah, I was not a fan. It's just the idea of... See, I will go... Now I'm second-guessing myself. I'm almost going to jump back onto your train early. But my whole point is that going into... It's not even the items. It's not the items that bother yeah. me. It's the, it's the getting them out of a dumpster. Because you do. You have... Because when I picture a dumpster full of items, I picture dirty things. Yeah. Things that are covered in mucus and poop. And garbage. Yes. Because people throw away their mucus and their poop into the dumpster as well. But I just picture dirty items. So when you tell me that you got something out of the dumpster, I picture it as a grimy, as a grimy refuse. Yes. Now my my uh, response to that would be that the stuff, no, all the stuff I got out out of there okay. was all on the top. Uh, I think I think I. I was trying to explain to you as it being like, think of if you just grabbed, like if you went to Walmart and went down like the, the toy aisle, or if you went down like, a, like any aisle there, like non-food aisle, and you just threw it all into like like a, a clean dumpster. Like if you okay. threw it all in there and then you walked by, you wouldn't think anything, like you, you really wouldn't think anything of it because you'd think, like if I said, oh, I saw a pile of bicycles and I got my sure. bicycle, you'd be right. like, why was there a pile of bicycles? And that's, that's what we did. Like with so you're my... saying that this dumpster is not your typical dumpster. The dumpster that you dove into is not one that was so very dirty. Well, no, yeah, see, the, like, it's, it's not like we were behind the local Applebee's look, <laughs> looking for uh, book bags. Uh, at school, many college students, they are sent there Small with... Small ones. Their, yes. Many college students. Many. Many. I'm not saying you pronounced it wrong. I was just looking Quite for a few <laughs> college students are sent there. And they're just sent there with their parents' credit cards. So That's after true. school is over, they sit there and think, well, I'm coming back here in the fall. I can just go spend and another $1,000. Yeah, so they toss all kinds of stuff out. Like I said, the book bag, like, 
Yes, it had been used, but there was no tears in it. There were no stains on it. No tears, no rips and stains. And new, it's a $60 book bag. Inside were shoes that were pretty pretty much new. Got you some new kicks? Well, Jordan got them. Because oh. it was a woman's book bag. Gotcha. What was kind of shoes were they? Book bag. Uh, they were nice <laughs> boots. That's right. It was a unisex book bag. <laughs> we're not trying to start any gender wars here. And uh, and so we got that. Like I said, the, the towel rack, like... There wasn't any scrapes on it. There wasn't anything like that. Were there towels on it? Uh, no. no. That would have been a, a steal. Um, no, I probably would have left towels in the dumpster. So there were clothes over there, but they had a weird smell. And I was like, I'm not going to pick up someone's pants and wear you them. You want to know why they had a weird smell? Why? They were in a dumpster. Well, they were beside the dumpster. <laughs> okay. Um, and so, yeah, that's... So I think when it comes to dumpster diving, like... Because I've heard stories about people going and getting stuff out of them and... Like making, like I said, make a living, but really just living off of it. Right. But they say, especially up north, the temperatures are so low that it's pretty much like a refrigerator, and like there's so much waste. It's just like the other day we went to Sonic, uh, and Zenus, they gave him the wrong order. They gave him two cheeseburgers instead of the chicken sandwich he wanted. Darn. So we brought back up there, and they were like, oh, did you open the packaging? At which point, Zenus revealed that he did not have x-ray <laughs> yeah. vision, and that, yes, he had opened up the packages. If I would have remembered my x-ray vision, I yeah. would I'm sorry. And so, like, they just threw them out. And so that's, like, that's two cheeseburgers that, if you were to, to pull out of a dumpster, like, they have not... You know what I mean? Like, if they were on top of it... They've only been touched by the clean hands of our friend Zenus. Well, see, he didn't even touch them. It was just unwrapping them and seeing hmm. that there are, like, they are burgers. That's... Uh, I, sh- this is what we'll do. We need to make an invention. Um, uh, something... A, a phone app. Yeah. That you can take a picture of an item, and then it tells you its history. That yes. it somehow, like, it reads the fingerprints. <laughs> it has, like... the every Like, so... I could go and I could, if I saw like a cheeseburger sitting on top of some yeah. trash in the dumpster, I could take a picture of it and then it would come up with like, this hamburger is still like 85 degrees. It's mm-hmm. still, it's, or however, 100 degrees. I don't know how hot a hamburger has to be. It's still hot. Uh, it's got no germs on it and mm-hmm. it was only touched by, it was only briefly unwrapped to discover it was a cheeseburger and then was thrown away for what mm-hmm. it was. And then like it's just says, check, you can eat that. So now that we have viewers here, I think this would be a perfect time for you to apologize to me for throwing away the sprinkles that I got you from out of the garbage. So, see, okay, now, I'm remembering the sprinkles now. Because Brandon came here to my home mm-hmm. and said, I got you something. And if, you, you probably don't know this, you'll find this out over the course of if we do more of these videos, that I really love sprinkles. Um, when it comes to ice cream, some people like, some people may love cookie dough. Some people, cookie dough. That's a different thing entirely. Some think some people may love uh, spring. Not spring, I'm gonna get there. Some people may love cookie dough ice gummy cream. Gummy bears. Some people, yeah, gummy bears. Reese's pieces. Reese's pieces. M and M's. Peanut butter, etc. Not I. My my favorite ice cream is vanilla ice cream with just a copious amount of sprinkles. And so it's become a joke among our friends, rightly so. That I love sprinkles, and I get sprinkles as a gift from time to time. I have several things in my cabinet. Um, but Brandon was like, hey, I got you some sprinkles. Try these. And so, being suspicious is why I had to try them immediately. I did still try them. <laughs> um, and then he informed me that he had gotten them out of the dumpster. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, like, vomit or anything. I just threw them away. Because <laughs> I, I didn't want the sprinkles that had been in the dumpster. But they were sealed. It doesn't matter. They were vacuumed. No one had touched them. No, no. The when you unsealed them, the air from <laughs> that was the same air Winnipeg <laughs> or Oregon. I don't know who creates sprinkles. Okay, but who created those Doctor Who sprinkles? Jimmy's. Yeah, the Jimmy. Whoever Jimmy is, Jimmy Wyoming. That'd be a cool. Guy also, if you're watching music, uh, argue in the comments over whether they're Jimmy's or sprinkles. Oh, that's really... Big yeah, that's definitely... Bit, I think in different areas of the United States or even the world, they're either Jimmy's well, or Sprinkles. Well, the only thing that had touched Jimmy was <laughs> the sweet air from that factory right. and then your tasty lips. I know that. I, I don't I don't recall saying, oh, these are, these are garbage. These are nasty. They didn't... Mm. They just... I really threw them away because they did not taste good. Your, your exact words were, Brandon, eventually... 
Lizzie, my fiance. <laughs> your fiance, not my fiance. Right. <laughs> your, your girl, your fiance is going to be over here. Wait Brandon. a second. You were like, eventually she's going to ask how I got these. <laughs> and I can't tell her that they came in the garbage. Yeah, that, 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 they did, I didn't enjoy the taste of them. Because some people may say it's just sugar. Not so. They all have different <laughs> tastes. Um, but that, yeah, that was our argument. Like, one day, she is going to come, and she's going to, we'll have ice cream, and she'll say, hey, where'd you get these Doctor Who sprinkles? Because I know you don't watch Doctor Who. And I'll have to tell her <laughs> that Brandon gave them to me from a dumpster. And then at that point, they'll be thrown away. So why not just go ahead and bite when the you, and do When it you myself. said that, I know that you meant it as, like, you're not into Doctor Who, so you wouldn't have bought them. But I just pictured, like, the only way you can get those sprinkles is the 1-800 number during Doctor Who. So she was like, now you don't watch Doctor Who, so how'd you get, <laughs> how'd you get that number? I know you don't watch Doctor Who, so how could you have even known these existed? <laughs> so, again, we want you to weigh in in the comments. Tell us, would you dumpster dive? Would you not? Where do you draw the line? Is it at food? Do you want us to develop a phone app that will tell you that <laughs> whether dumpster stuff is, is edible? I think it'd be useful. Mm -hmm. You could give it, all the homeless people could get the app and then use it at the dumpsters. We're not laughing at homeless people. I was merely pointing out the humor that if a homeless, if a person is resorted to... Why is the camera eat, blinking like that? I don't know. It must be about, it's probably about to switch over. We're probably reaching our four gig oh, okay. Um, but I was joke, merely joking that if a homeless person is mm -hmm. resorted to eating garbage, he is likely not going to have a cell phone. Yes. And so, yes, please, yep, please weigh in in the comments. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Just weigh in in the comments, please, and tell us. Tell us if you get a dog at the doctor. That's where we got Mia. That's where we got Mia. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Say, say bye, Mia. Bye-bye. Bye. bye. bye.